TGC day. Per day. Let's see what we got. What the fuck? Hey YouTube comic community, it's Jimmy the Geek Aficionado. And it's another disappointing CGC unboxing. Yes, folks. Um, we're gonna go through this batch of books. There's some winners, some losers, and some that I just don't know what the hell's going on. Um, because the most important thing about this submission is that not one book, not a single one, has any shred of greater stuff. So we can start off with a little rant about how CGC is offering free graders notes, but that is at the discretion of the grader if that person decides that they want to write any notes down. So you got to ask yourself when you tank a book and you don't put any graders notes, are you really doing your job? So we're going to think on that as we go through some of these books. Now, uh, you may have seen a preview video. If you didn't, you can click right here and you can watch that preview video where I previewed the books that I was sending out to CGC. Uh, so those books are now back. They're all modern tier books. And uh, we're gonna start going through some of them. So like I said, I'm gonna start with the winners. Um, big winner here. Uh, this book was picked up at Megacon in 2021 uh, when I was out there hanging out with my friends. Hi, Aaliyah, Comic Bro, Steve Whiting, Cookie from Just a Little Podcast and uh, a few others. Uh, but this is Teen Titans number 88. This is an Adam Hughes variant and it is a 9.8 with white pages. Gorgeous cover featuring Ravager, Raven, and Wonder Girl on it. Super awesome book. So happy to have that in 9.8 because that's where I thought it would be. And that is what we got. All right. Well. I'm gonna put them here. All right. Numero dos. This is a, a, a favorite, uh, I do believe, of a lot of people. Uh, this is a David Aha cover of Five Ronin, issue number four, featuring Psylocke. And this is again a 9.8. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful cover with the uh, her telepathic butterfly look tattooed on her back. Very Japanese style. Beautiful book. Absolutely stunning. Next one is a twofer. Because we got two copies of it. And that is Civil War number one. Mike Turner variant. Beautiful 9-8. Love this. Uh, if you haven't seen the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the, the shot where, uh, what's his name? U.S. agent or, or whatever we're going to call him now standing in the courtyard with a bloody shield, very reminiscent of this, this cover here by the legend Mike Turner. Happy to have gotten uh, one of these for myself, but I had picked up two because I know that they are uh, they're very popular. So we have two of those. This one's gonna get sold. So if you are interested, this one is for sale. Just go ahead and uh, reach out to me on Instagram or, um, or in the comments. I'll get back to you. All right, so now we're getting a little into the, uh, the disappointments. So this first one I got for my daughter because uh, she saw it and she really liked it. So I picked it up raw and then had, uh, had, had pressed it and sent it in. Um, and there was an opportunity that it would be a 9.6, although I don't recall why, but it did come back a 9.6. This is Hawkeye number nine, it's a classic uh, cover classic for modern times but yeah it's a it's a notable cover so it's hawkeye number nine featuring kate bishop on the cover uh yeah got that in a nine six so not awesome but still really cool uh, i think my daughter will still enjoy it but it, you know for me it's like why didn't he get the nine eight? um there's another one that uh i was on the fence about you know 
I, I knew it was possible, um, especially since it, this book is just so hard to get a 9.8 in. But it's a century number one, came back in a 9.6. So it looks like we found one problem with it that, uh, that we're dealing with. And uh, that's okay. I got two more copies of this I got to send out. So maybe one of those will come back a 9.8. Uh, this one was a funny one and i, I mean funny haha -ha, because uh well i i didn't mean to send this copy <laughs> um but it happens sometimes um and i can tell by looking at it that uh it looks like the the press didn't hold very well it looks like there's another opportunity to, to press this out and possibly get a 9.8 but this is ultimate spider-man number one this is the special edition so this is not the actual first print had the first print i intended to send the first print but grab this to put on the press and that's what went in the box so kind of a, a faux pas on my part but uh it's a beautiful book nonetheless but uh you can tell in the light if we can get the light there that there are some bends still in the spine there it could have been knocked out so i'm going to think about cracking and repressing and resubmitting this doing a cpr so if you see a CPR video on this book, that's probably why, because uh, it just needed another press, and I think we can get that golden 9.8 standard. That's one to look out for in the near future. All right. Now this was the most depressing of the entire submission. And when I say the most depressing, because I still cannot find a single problem with this and CGC's lack of graders notes has not helped me discover what the problem is <coughs> but it is Superman Batman number eight San Diego Comic-Con 2017 exclusive virgin cover by the master Mike Turner in a 9.6 I have been over every inch of this book before I sent it after I sent it before I pressed it after I pressed it and I couldn't find a single thing wrong with it. I still cannot find a single thing wrong. But yet, it still came back a 9.6, so I can tell you for certain that this will be cracked, pressed, and resubmitted uh, because there's evidently something in here they saw that I am unable to locate at all, but I, 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 I believe in this book. I believe in its ability to be a 9.8, and I'm not going to stop until it is. Mind you, when I opened this box at the beginning, you could tell I was a lot more upset than I am right now. Um, another disappointing one. This one is a challenge. Uh, looks like looks like there's a couple of bends in the spine that uh, didn't used to be there. At least not when I sent it. I don't know what happened, but it's what if number 105 came back in 9.6. Not happy with that. First, uh, first Spider Girl, first May Parker. Now we're getting into the real major disappointments. These are the ones where I'm holding a grudge with CGC on this, especially because there's no notes. If you're gonna ding a modern book a nine four, say something. Just even if it's multiple bends, I don't care. Put something on there. Because this book I sent in, I sent it in because I thought it was a rock star. 9.8 candidate. I didn't think there was anything wrong with it, even after the press. And I just wanted it for myself because I absolutely love this piece of art. And it's X-Men Phoenix End Song number one, Greg Land, and it is a 9.4. That's better. Much better. 9.4. Uh, like I said, I, I love this book. I want to get this one and I want to get the variant in the green uh, done at a 9.8. But come on, help me out. Right? Just tell me what's wrong with the book. That's all I'm asking for. Nothing crazy, not, oh, everything has to be a 9.8, but if it's not a 9.8 and it's a modern book, say something, right? 9.6 is I'm even kind of like on the fence. It's like, you know, I get it. There's usually like one blemish, one little problem, you know, I get it. But to not say anything at all on a 9.4? Now we're getting into the really disappointing ones. We've got a uh, Wolverine number one, came back a 9.2. Now, I wouldn't have sent this book if I thought it was a 9.2. Now, I will admit, I still, I, I do see a couple of slight spine stresses that, uh, that didn't come out. 
you could go for it again. A couple of slight spine stresses, though, is not a 9.2. Now, after careful review of the book, the only thing that I can find that would have gotten this 9.2 is if you look closely, I'm going to try and do this right along here, you see there's slight color loss from the print, from the manufacturing, right? These are not scuff marks. It's a slight color loss, just tiny little bits that are there on the back cover. That's the only thing I can, that and a couple of spine stresses, stress lines that do not break color, mind you. I have seen 9.8s riddled with stress lines that do break color, and I get a 9.2 Now this one I was hoping for a 9.6. Why was I hoping for a 9.6? Because I wanted it linear with the others. Um, but this is Warlock 5, num issue number 6. 9.2. Um, Again, I don't see it. All I do see is just slight little, slight little color loss right here. And when I say slight, I mean slight. Again, I've seen 9.8s with more color loss. Um, still on the hunt for that one. And our final piece of disappointment, another book that should have been a 9.8, at least based on my experience. And mind you, I send off pre-screen 9.8s and get 25 books back. I do this for work, so I don't post them here, but I know what a 9.8 looks like. So when I get a 9.4 with no notes, uh, obviously I'm concerned about what's going on over there. Uh, so yeah, and this had a nice little case scuff as well. Um, again, the only thing I can think of is, uh, and it's, it's part of this, this interesting back cover here, is that it looks like there might be some slight color loss, um, you know, along the, uh, along the color line. It's impossible to see. Anyway. I don't know what to do with this. Um, I don't know if I should sell it straight up or not, or if I should try it again. That one's kind of a mystery to me. But that is the first appearance of Shara Sanders as or Saunders as Hot Girl. So she's the new Hot Girl uh, who was in the JSA um, and uh, continued the Hawkman series after uh, uh, one year later. All of that uh, that noise. Anyway, that's. That's my disappointing CGC unboxing. Thank you for watching. If you did, if you uh, just kind of got halfway through like I did and just kind of buried your head in your hand, I get it. I totally get it. But thanks again for click and play on the video. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, uh, your thoughts and opinions on what you saw in the reveals and um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'd love to see you come back for more and uh, we'll talk to you soon. So stay classy, YouTube.